Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the playroom and it is getting a complete makeover. Look at this mess, it is going. Goodbye. So we will be tackling the mess and the toys will be finding their homes and also getting rid of some declutter and we're also going to be organising this homeschool art cupboard. I cannot wait for this. So grab yourself a drink, sit back and enjoy the satisfaction of this transformation so my tactic is I always start with the hardest job first so in today's video the hardest job is this cupboard it doesn't look like much but there is so much stuff in here that needs to be organized and my other tactic is to pull everything out and start again Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are So these are the containers that I got from Kama a little while ago in preparation of this day It's taken a while to get to this day with having a newborn in the house and a four-year-old So my four-year-old is away so we're getting it done There's something different So I took it all out, I put it on the table I got overwhelmed. I had to go and make a coffee, so that's what I've gone and done. And now I'm just on Pinterest looking for some inspiration. Um, so yeah, that is what we're going to be doing today is trying to get some order in that cupboard and then I'm gonna tackle the toys that are everywhere. But first I'm gonna drink coffee, get inspiration, make a bit of a mood board and go from there. Okay, so it doesn't look like much, but I've just kind of made them into piles. So I've got like homeschool learning activity kind of based things. Um, we've got some, they're over there, random piles, um, some activity books, so like coloring books and all that. Oops, that can go with the other ones in a sec. Um, more learning things, so these help with counting. Um, got these plugging flowers which is more of a game but you can use it for learning as well um bubble machine pile some like things for his little trophies table um what else things like glue sticks and pens and pencils little scissors so that'll be like art supplies stickers and paper some drawing stuff like crafty things paint is all there and yeah then up here I've got a little craft box that'll be like all things like little googly eyes pom-poms pipe cleaners all that kind of stuff two empty ones here this is like flashcards and learning things she's got um, magnetic letters and numbers and also a little money set so play money and a little money coin game in there and then these are going to be where the coloring books go so they will go in there like that so now we've got our little friend joining us he's awake and he just wants to be held so he is on um I haven't really done too much. I did a little bit off camera. Um, nothing, nothing huge here from what you saw. But I did start on the cupboard again. And I've just organized the puzzles. Um, there's some games down here. So there's a fishing game. There's a little like drill set thing. And a money game. So I've got those down there and I've just sorted out some more books. So we've got some like activity and colouring in books and paint books. We've got some learning books here and then I've just got some random bits and pieces on there. KiwiCo boxes which I'm going to sort, hoping to put those into that container or shelving system there. But yeah, I will be doing that with a bit of company. Mm -hmm. So now 
now I'm just going to start by sorting out all the toys and putting them back in order and figuring out what doesn't need to be here anymore and creating a more intentional and organized space. Why can't you forget the reason you left? You tend to hide your feelings. Yeah, you keep thinking it's right. And now I'm just gonna start by trickling everything back into this cupboard and just playing around until I get an outcome that I like. It could be a while, but this is how I work. But it's hard when I am running. I grew up in a Montessori school and I also did a Montessori and Reggio Emilia course in TAFE to do with childcare and I'm very much a creating of space kind of person so we have a little paint tray and yeah, hopefully my Montessori skills will help me sort this cupboard. Now we're back to this toy storage. This is going to be the one that takes the longest, but it's got to be done. And it's going to be so much better for Isaiah to explore when it's all organized. Holding my breath. also have this big storage chest over here that has toys that I kind of swap out um, and hide away for a little bit and yeah this is in desperate need of a declutter so we're going through anything that does not bring us joy is going Back to space over here is going to be a work in progress. We kind of have a recycling system over here and we have big plans to make some things we just haven't had the time but yeah this needs a better system over here. And then it comes down to moving furniture. So this is the bit where I don't really plan and I just wing it and it usually comes out with the best outcome when I don't plan it so yeah we're just going to watch me struggle moving moving some things around, changing my mind, moving again, changing my mind again, and again. So prepare yourself. <laughs> what is on your mind? I think it's time to speak. I have crossed the line, but no, not just me. I'm feeling something that goes beyond us. Can we work it? Gonna take a lie, cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell. I still want all of you, and I know why you colors. And I guess because of that, I can think of no others. Yeah, I need you to breathe without you. I'm lost. What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line But no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes So before you think, what is this weirdo doing? <laughs> All this stuff was caked in spider webs and I'm not the most bravest person when it comes to spiders so yeah, hence why I was using the stick. <laughs> 
So I've been wanting to move this baby mat for a while now. It's been sliding around on the floor really easy, which meant there was dirt trapped under it and it wasn't gripping to the floor anymore. So we're gonna be deep cleaning this one. Just me, I'm feeling something that goes beyond us. Us, us. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot, cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Yeah. forgot how big this space was so before we had a playroom and before my youtube channel we had a pool table here and yeah we use that pretty much every friday night saturday night sunday night and then we had kids and everything changed you got me This really is the most high traffic area in this home. It's the back door, it's where the dog goes out to the toilet, it's where we go in and out from inside to outside. So this floor needed such a deep clean and because there's no kids at home, that means I can give it such a big deep clean with lots of water and not have to worry about anyone running over it. I have tangerine essential oil in my mop bucket today, so you can just imagine how good that smells. As expected, the baby mat was absolutely caked in dog hair and dirt and sand. So yeah, that's why it wasn't sticking anymore to the floor. But now that is all deep cleaned, we can do the other side and we're good to go. That's one thing I love about having this baby mat in our playroom is that you can mop it. How good is that? Like you don't, you can vacuum it still, but you can mop it. <laughs> and if you guys aren't familiar with what a baby mat is, but it is a padded foam mat as well. So it's really heavy duty for playtime. So I feel comfortable putting the climbing frame here because I know they're safe. So the hardest part of this playroom is done, everything's been moved and reorganised and now I'm just going to give you guys a little look through of what it looks like and that will end part one of this video.
that's what we have so far. I am off to Kmart to get our click and collect, which will have a few more containers and stuff for our art cupboard and also just setting up the homeschool room a little bit better. And I really, 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 really wanted the three white magazine holders from Kmart. And they've just refunded me because they don't have any in stock. Do you know how hard these things are to find? So please, if you see one, let me know. I will go and get it. I will drive the countryside to go and get this thing. So that's annoying. But nonetheless, let's do this Kmart little haul.